So thanks for stopping by today, Jeremy. No, thanks for having me here. Yeah. So this looks really interesting. What are you looking for with the samples? Well, with our oil program, there's four key test categories that we look at. We look at wear rate, oil condition, oil contamination, and oil identification. Nice. So I want to hear about all of them, but wear rate has my attention the most. What are you looking for with wear rate? Well, let's, let's walk in and I'll show you. Okay. Well, each oil wash system is made up of various materials and each has a particular concentration of wear metals that are produced during normal operation. By evaluating wear inside these lubricated compartments, we can see if rates are normal or not. So what causes wear to not be normal? Well, wear is often caused by some common contaminants such as soot, dirt, or coolant. And you may not think that soot would be an issue, but it's really abrasive and it can cause damage to your component. Really? So how do you measure wear? Well, when components wear, they create particles of all different sizes. Some you can see and some you can't. Your SOS analysis will use the results of elemental analysis and particle counting to determine if that wear is normal or not. So help me understand why I should really care about wear rate testing. Well, when parts wear incorrectly, the life of that component is really shortened and it increases the chance for failure substantially. If you think about it, it's a lot like your own personal health. Oh, really? How's that? Yeah. So look at it like this. There's many contributing factors to increased cholesterol, right? With increased cholesterol, you get more blockage in your arteries, which could lead to the potential for you to have a heart attack. Well, it's the same with wear rate, only it shortens your component life. Okay, I think I understand that. <laughs>